bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. I can't always refer to the woman I love, my children's other mother, as my darling, my beloved, sugar in my bowl. No, I need a common utilitarian word that calls no more attention to itself than nouns like grass, bread, house. The terms husband and wife are perfect for that. Hassling with PG and E or dropping off dry cleaning, you don't want to say, the light of my life doesn't like starch. Don't suggest spouse, a hideous word, and partner is sterile as a boardroom. Couldn't we afford a term for the woman who carried that girl in her arms when she was still all promise? That boy curled inside her womb? And today, when I go to kiss her and she says, Not now, I'm reading. Still, she deserves a syllable or two. If only so I can express how furious she makes me. But maybe it's better this way. No puny pencil stub of a word. Maybe these are exactly the times to drag out the whole galaxy of endearments. Buttercup, I should say. Lambkin. Mon petit chou. Sit down, war and peace, just for a moment, and lift your ruby lips to mine. I'm talking to the dishwasher repairman, the vacuum cleaner sales clerk, the woman in the Blue Cross billing department, I could explain that I'd already sent the copay for my soulmate, my duckling, my chocolate-covered cream puff. Maybe it would brighten her day, too. Hello, I might say, you precious, you jewel, oh queen among queens, darling, honey pie, angel, my sweet patootie.